this is this will be interesting. Uh, how many, take a poll of the audience because I talked about this the other night to see how many people want the Washington football team to change their name. So how many? Wait, how many of you um, like the name as it is? The the yelling and stuff won't be in the final tally. <laughs> the woo hooing is not counted. And how many of you want to see it changed? <laughs> now the stay calm. John, what's the name of that comic? There's a really f a funny comic that, uh, named John Rathbone who, uh, who deserves credit for this. He had a great idea of how to keep the name. And what you do is you replace the, um, the uh, Native American with uh, red skin potatoes. <laughs> and then and then when other teams come, everybody can have a potato and fucking fire it at the other team. <laughs> Whenever I refer to the Washington football team, I refer to them as the Washington football club. No, 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 I know, I know. It's not Redskins. Redskins. No. Redskins. Guys, guys, guys. Um, it's a logo to us. That's the difference. It's not a logo. Um, if you're a Native American, it's a fucking insult. Yeah, it is. It's not, it's not bullshit. That's not bullshit. They have come forth and said, hey, this blows. After you shit all over a people, okay, and the best that you can do is to give them, a few of them, casinos, okay, that's the... That's the big give back. Really? You, you, Redskins, do you need that? Do you need to fucking hold on to that? Before they were born. Oh. <laughs> Don't stop it, stop it! What did he say, though? He said, he said, no, stop. He said it was before they were born. No, stop! First off, um, my, uh, my tour manager is Native American, and um, so you're, you're going to want to get out of here quickly. <laughs> Look, it isn't b b b before they were born. See, they were, it's, a, it's a whole group of people who, were, I don't know if you've read history, but you see, it was a whole group of people, and they inhabited this country. And then, then the Spanish said, hey, you want to try some syphilis? <laughs> then we showed up and jerked them around. And then we just, you know, read some history. I'm serious. The, the minimum we can do, okay, is to... Is to is to just go, is to, is to find another name, okay? It will not, and what difference does it make? And we're gonna be shitty again? Yeah, we are. I don't care if we picked up this cornerback. I don't give a fuck. I've watched long enough. I know what the story is. That's, you know, If that is what makes you happy, is to yell that, think about it. You, you could say, there's a ton of other fucking words, okay? Dog fuckers. The Washington dog fuckers. That works well for me. D-A-W-G-F-U-C-K-E-R-Z. With a big ferocious dog on the side. I'm telling you, okay? 
It, it may not embarrass you. You don't give a shit. You're in the dark. He's in the dark. You're all in the fucking dark. But people are watching out there. I got all 28 of them who are watching it all. <laughs> and right now they're going, what the fuck is the matter with these people? I tell you, if we were, it's, we have no, we're denigrating the name. We're denigrating the name of the Native American. You sign Albert Hainsworth? Are you shitting me? I can go through everything that we did from the time Dan Snyder took that team over to flush it down the toilet. And yelling what you yell doesn't make them a winner. And it doesn't make you a winner, okay? Dog fuckers makes us winners. <laughs> we are dogs, we fuck. We are dogs, we fuck. Hail to the dog fuckers. Somebody asked about the fantasy football gambling sites. FanDuel, DraftKings, etc. Okay? FanDuel, DraftKings, etc. Okay, first off, they have to stop showing those 5,000 billion fuck ads. It's the same fucking ad. It's the same goddamn man. I won a million dollars. I jerked off a fucking antelope the other day and won $250. Are you serious? A million dollars? I only put $25 in. I won $300,000. Fuck you, dead. Fuck you. The NFL has money in those sites. The fucking, the fucking TV stations have money in those sites. It's fucking unbelievable. And they don't think it's gambling. Fuck you. It's gambling. They think it's, no, they, they, they say it's um, a skill. It's not a fucking skill. I have my fantasy football team right the fuck here. I do fantasy football. I don't even play for money, because that would make me suicidal. <laughs> and these sons of bitches, I, got, I had, you know who I had? And I'm, okay, this is gonna send you round. The, I'm, I root for the Washington football team. Oh yeah, oh yeah, boo, boo. I have a team that's a piece of shit, you fucks. Why don't you just, just be sympathetic about it, okay? Fuck you, okay? I didn't say that I, I don't like the Dallas Cowboys. I hate you, and I go through every fucking loss and how you fucked me in the ass and made my childhood a living hell. <laughs> and you know you can fuck yourselves, because you know who my quarterback was? Tony Romo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the kind of faith I had, you know, because I, I knew that Tony Romo would do better than my fucking quarterback. But there's no skill to that. Tony Romo got hit and he got hurt. And then I had dog fart Charlie have to start a quarterback. Are you shitting me? There's no skill in that. Fucking A. It's, there's no skill in it. I have a group of people and some don't get to play. And the ones that I choose not to play have the best weeks of their fucking life. <laughs> it's gambling. It's fucking gambling. You're making a choice. You either take Farty Bow or Snicky Snick. You're making a fucking choice. And granted, yeah, skill wise, if it was really skill, then Farty Bow, who's really great, and Snicky Snick, who's a piece of shit, shouldn't be doing really great, and Farty Bo should do good. But that ain't the way it fucking works. <laughs> it doesn't work that way at all. Here's how simple it is. There are only two states that basically have said it's gambling. And one of those states is Nevada, okay? <laughs> The Supreme Court of Gambling is Nevada. If Nevada says she's a hooker, she's a fucking hooker. Got a great game coming up this weekend, too, you do. This weekend, your, your Atlanta Falcons are playing my Washington football team. Yes, sir, Bob. 
That's a game. That's a that's a game that is gonna put you fucking to sleep. That's a game. Oh boy, and if you think if you if you go down thirty points and you think you're out of it, don't you dare turn the TV off. If there's any if there's any defense, because today the the USA Today called our defense good, which means what? They're shitty. I've watched them. They are shitty. So it really, it'll be a lot of fun to watch. Hopefully you've got the over. The over is 270 points. <laughs> so we got some great stuff this evening from you guys. I appreciate it. The audience, this is Nora. She's hey, here. Lou. What? Wasn't there a Super Bowl once where a team was up by way a bunch? <laughs> I mean, I'm not a big football fan, but I just heard about it somewhere. It happened somewhere. No, well, no, look, he's got, he has nothing. <laughs> this is a man who's desperately looking for his annex, and his team is the Detroit Lions. <laughs> <laughs> so, really, it doesn't matter. We're all fucked. We're all in the same <laughs> shitty boat. As a lifelong Washington football team fan, it's, it's always tough to come to Dallas. <laughs> We've had some really, uh, we've, well, we, um, it's true. We, uh, there have been some games we've lost to you. There's, a, uh, there's some games that we've lost to you during Thanksgiving that are just, well, they're, they're nightmares that reoccur. <laughs> well, what you should know this week uh, is that um, if, if you, for those of you out there too who might be watching anywhere in the world, um, if you want to see a football game, great opportunity this week in D.C., uh, the Detroit Lions, and the Washington football team are playing, and it is, you can get a ticket for $5. It's cheaper to watch those two football teams than it is to go to Frozen! This, yeah, stay calm. Okay. You got to live with Jerry Jones. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. You okay? No, go on. You keep him. Okay? I got Snyder, who's a piece of shit. You got your own piece of shit, okay? No, 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 no. I'm not having a discussion. Ball game's over. I just called my guy a piece of shit. Your guy's a piece of shit. If you don't realize that Jerry Jones, the rest of the country looks at Jerry Jones and goes, fuck you. So get it? All right? You do? Oh, good. That's good news. Except for the guy up there. <laughs> it's funny. God. That is funny, but what a prick he is. This is, can't be this person's name. Frenchy Fatwa, that can't be your name. <laughs> if it is, that's, then you, you, that's really off the charts. Um, it looks like Tampa Bay just beat your LA Rams. All right, let's get something straight, fucker. <laughs> I don't like the LA Rams, I never liked the LA Rams. LA Rams are Jeff Stilson's team. He likes the LA Rams, because he lives out there. My team, is the Washington team. My team is a team that should be thrown out of football, okay? <laughs> or, or you should get on your hands and knees after this show and pray that we're on your schedule. <laughs> because we, if you get a chance, I fucking mean this, you get a chance when you get home tonight, you flip on SportsCenter and watch, watch what happened to my team today. And nobody's gonna get fired. Nobody's gonna get fired! The owner's an asshole. The fucking, the defensive coach, they wanted to get rid of him and they couldn't. How are you not able to get rid of him? Just go get out of here! We could do better if the guys just stood around in a circle and go, what do you think, let's stop him, woo! Seriously, watch what the fuck happened! We intercepted some passes today because we were playing the Giants. James Salkin, who does our tech stuff here, that's his team. Even he was kind of shocked they won. 
they're the shittiest defense in the league. They're five shittier than my piece of shit defense. God damn it. The LA Rams are too good for me, you fuck. And then he goes on to say, my Orioles are wrapped up their season 49 games out of first. Yeah, which is just a, a little more than they were last year. <laughs> Another team that should be, just put them on a boat and send them away. Send them. <laughs> God damn it. What the fuck is going on? It's like you're bringing your relationship miasma to the teams you love. No, no. Nobody can make, nobody, nobody, even I am, I may fucking, I may be a, 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 a fucking bad luck, but nobody is 49 games of bad luck. That's another piece of shit. Hey, look who we have, Manny Machado, we got uh, Jonathan Scope, we got fucking every, every fucking body! <laughs> and we gave all away, gave everyone away! Kept one guy who strikes out the most fucking ever! Batted like 149 last year. People are like, holy fuck. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, and you, oh, yeah, and you guys are playing this week, aren't you? Milwaukee plays, right? Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. God damn it. Your baseball team is better than my football team. <laughs> and a lifelong fan would appreciate the opportunity to thank you for entertaining us uh, and for years and uh, salute your political acumen. I, I wouldn't know about that. Are you greeting uh, any degenerates afterwards? Safe travels. Uh, we won't be meeting. We, we're just, uh, we're kind of, this is a fucked week because you know, here's part of the reason why. Here's the fucking reason why we're not staying tonight because you have a big game tomorrow. And, and apparently, yeah, I know. <laughs> so about six weeks ago when we're planning our trips to go, because normally, uh, you, and I love you too. So we're in, we're in Saginaw, we're gonna come here. We rode overnight, concept being, we're gonna come here, stay because we like it here, and then hang out, and I'll sign shit, and then, but no, not anymore, because we can't stay. You can stay for six hours. Get the fuck out of our hotel! <laughs> so, if you didn't have a game tomorrow, you know, and good luck. Well, good luck, uh, you know, and realize that I'm, well, I'll tell you, whoever I'm, I'm, I'm playing, I'm, I'm a, a, a Washington football. Is my I'm, I'm a Washington fan, and uh, too bad. Really, too bad. It's all I have. You don't make a fucking choice. You know, son of a bitch. You know, god damn it. I have them, and I'm stuck with them. And you people screaming, or you're the lunatics. We're gonna watch the game tomorrow, and it's gonna be, uh, 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 uh fuck. <laughs> worst, worst is to be on the bus. John Bowman is a Lions fan. Yeah. No, boo? That is just fucking wrong. That is, look, that, I'm serious. Re-examine your fucking life. You boo, why don't you just go, you know, why don't you, you know what? Why don't you go over there and pee on John's foot? <laughs> boo, a team. <laughs> oh, John, explain to you what it's like to be a Lions fan. I was born in 1959. And the Detroit Lions won the championship of the NFL before it was the fucking Super Bowl. <laughs> 1956, 1957, and then in 1958, they traded away the quarterback. Think about that, motherfucker. <laughs> Thank you.
Yo, no. It's going to be a long night on that bus. Would you rather have Trump be president or be a Browns fan? I'd rather be a Browns fan. There's no denying it. One of the, uh, there's a, not, a lot of questions about the Browns. Now you have to realize that uh, John, I don't know if he pointed out to you and myself, John is a fan of the Lions. And um, uh, yeah, and uh, that's the, that's the uh, and that team we've watched all year. And that team is uh, the kind of team that is just gets to the point you think, holy fuck, there's going, no, we're fucked again. <laughs> and, and John can go through a litany. We watched a game when they lost to Green Bay. Um, uh, uh, Keep that to yourself, okay? You won a lot of games, fuck you, you're not even a part of the discussion of the low way, all right? Oh, we beat the shit out of you, fuck you. We are talking about people who have the shit beat out of them. You're in the bully group, we're in the bullied, got it? So keep it to yourself, you know, you, oh boy, Aaron Rodgers, oh my tits are swollen with, with milk, oh my teats are lactating, shut the fuck up. We're watching that game. Uh, uh, what happens at the very end of the game, Aaron Rodgers throws a pass, which is almost humanly impossible unless fairies carry the ball. <laughs> and just flings it, and then the world's all of a sudden a guy who's this high becomes that high. But John, through the whole thing, they're winning. Detroit's winning this game. There is no way in hell Detroit loses this game. They're gonna have an onside kick, can't possibly. This fucking maniac is sitting here. Now this is gonna happen. Then we're gonna get fucked this way. Then we're gonna get screwed. Look, and he said it exactly happened the way he read it. And that is the only joy you can take when your team is a piece of shit. And that's why I like, you know, I felt bad for you when you, you got Manziel, because I thought, oh, here comes a world of hurt. Uh, because I dr drinky drink myself and, uh, I know if I was a quarterback, another glass, wow, really shots for everybody. And I'm a, I, I, I'm a, a, a Washington football team fan, so we have, this year I got hope. That's the, you, what you're going to find is it just gets worse. Because then you're going to start to get a little, you will get better and you'll get better. There will come a point, there will come a point. And you'll get better and then you'll get to that point and then, then you go, you start to really believe, and that's when God takes your nuts and squeezes it. <laughs> oh boy, is that what is that, the Saints? Is that what that was? The Bengals, who day, who, they go who day and the others go who dat? How do you fucking know each other? Who day? What does that have to fucking do with? <laughs> I've never been to a Bengals game. You guys, you had your moment, and then they, the, the quarterback fell down, and then, oh, you got fucked. <laughs> hope, you had hope. Oh, here we are. We finally turned the corner. This kid's gonna, oh, fuck. <laughs> I know the whole story. We read it all. Woohoo.